If you give a man a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt, he'll have a nice shirt for a couple days until he smells like a goat. But if you teach a man how to wash a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt, found in the description box down below, he'll have a shirt for a lifetime, or at least two or three washes till the design fades. I'm going to teach you today how to be a savvy consumer and not be fooled by the lies of YouTubers. I will find you. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. I got a comment the other day. I was going to include it in my Q&A show, but it deserved its own entire video. It went something like, I'm a moron. Help me stop being so dumb. Please teach me sensei. I will teach you. When we look at reviews for cameras we're excited about, you have to watch it with the eye of a hawk and the heart of a tiger. All the people I'm calling out today, I'm sorry, I love you, but you have sinned this day and I have ratchet the hammer of the Lord upon thou. So a couple weeks ago, I was slightly critical of the Fuji X-H2S and I'm seeing a lot of pulsing in the autofocus I don't feel like they've really outdone themselves. They have a stacked sensor now, super speedy, but they suffer with the same problems. And I'm looking up the sensor. They have phase detect only 425 points, same exact points as the X-T4. Whereas Sony's doing a mix of contrast and phase, mending them into fluidity. And I'm seeing problems. So I call people out and I get morons in the comment section telling me, oh, look, you idiot, it outperforms Canon, does it? Let us now watch a clip from Taylor Jackson, not Michael Jackson. Yeah. Canon R6 versus the Fuji X-H2S. And as I mentioned in the intro, I was impressed with how far and accurate the eye and also just like general human detection uh, picked up. And as you can see here, the Canon starts to get a little, it kind of knows that Clarissa's is there, but then it's like, ah, I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll find some other stuff and let you, it's all in focus because it's far enough, doesn't really matter, but it is more accurate on the Fuji film camera, which is very, very surprising. This is the oldest trick in the book, the Atomos recording. As a Panasonic user, you know the face tracking box, phenomenal performance. On a Panasonic camera, you're, you're shocked at the crosshair in the eye just tracking your every movement. It senses your next move and it's like, wow, Panasonic, how are you doing this? But the footage is never in focus. It never follows what the screen does. You're just like, oh, yeah. So these Atomos recordings, everybody keeps posting these to me like it's proof of anything. They do nothing. It doesn't mean that Fuji actually did what it's super achieving and inspiring to do. It's hoping it could do what it's showing on the screen, but it doesn't actually keep up. It's like trying to keep up with your older brother in a race. He's going to step on your foot. So you, the moron consumer, are seeing these side by sides. Oh my God, Fuji's box is picking up the face from farther away. It's better than Canon autofocus. Wow, Fuji, you did it. Where's the pre-order button? Oh yeah, tall take two. Huh? You're so dumb know what you're looking at. I just, this comes with experience of having terrible cameras, Panasonic in their variety. You know what to look for. So don't just trust somebody. He didn't show you any of the footage. I was like, why aren't you showing the footage? And he did later on. And we saw this. We saw pulse happy backgrounds dancing at a Panasonic prom night near you. That's what we saw. Just the, the whips and the flashes in the trees, it reminds me of when I was abducted as a child by the military. There's no aliens, the earth is flat. We all know that. So in that situation, you're seeing these Atomos recordings, you're blown away. Just stop, Just don't, you gotta question these things. Is that really happening? Why isn't he showing the footage? The recording's a 720p image. A lot of these shots are at Tony 4 with the, somebody 30 feet from the camera, every damn thing's in focus. But the box, oh, look at that. Don't be fooled by the box. Yeah, she said that to me once. Let us move on to the next critique. The autofocus seemed pretty reliable for me, uh, but then again, I've not really had issues with my X-T3 and my X-T4. And I think that's partly just based on my shooting style, but with the 16 to 55 and the X-H2S, I didn't have any noteworthy autofocus problems. And again, that was a pre-release unit. Listen, buddy, I do not mean to interrupt your Siegel-related business here, but 
when you say, I didn't notice anything wrong with the autofocus and you're filming at a Tony 4 and there's seagulls 15 feet away, which one is it latching onto? All of them because the depth of field is longer than my village. Whenever I point out that Fuji autofocus isn't quite up to par with the competition, I'll, I'll get somebody eventually to say, I've never had a problem with their Fuji camera. And you're lying to yourself, you're lying to your family, you're lying to us. You've seen, maybe you don't even know what you're looking for. Just pulses, instability, switching off to the distance. Things happen badly on a Fuji camera always. It's the, it's like a Panasonic unreliability. Sometimes it's amazing. You're like phase detect, it's smooth. You can't predict it though. You don't know when it's gonna fail and it will fail always. You just turn your head once, gone. So many times I've looked off to see something, a car maybe coming to hit me. Fuji will not let you do that. You just get hit by that car and you'll be in focus. You keep looking at the camera. But if you're watching this as a noob, you're hearing him say, okay, this is like a professional guy. He's saying he didn't notice any problems with the autofocus. He's never noticed a problem. And he's showing footage that appears to be somewhat in focus, but the depth of field is so long that anything could have made it into that shot. You gotta savvy yourself and know what you're looking for. You can't just, here's another example, same guy. I love him. I did shoot handheld the whole time with the 16 to 55 for the most part. And I don't see any Ibis artifacts or wobbling or warping in my footage. I was shooting on the Oregon coast and it was uh, somewhat rainy. He told you that he didn't see any Ibis jerks or artifacts while playing the shakiest footage I've ever seen from that Fuji camera. It's like, who, did he edit his own video listening to that? Like, never noticed a problem, oh, shaky footage. I'll just overlay that over that, that fits. I got a comment from a guy saying like, I don't have the camera. You're just reviewing the reviews here. What are you doing? Like, you're trying to tell people the autofocus isn't good, you've never touched the camera. And to him I say, well played. Well played, checkmate, one might <laughs> assume. <laughs> but yes, I'm just reviewing the reviews, basically, and this is all we have right now. The reviews that are out there, so I'm speculating and critiquing those, and from that I judge and gather evidence and then I make a case and then eventually I'll try the camera or even buy it and boom, we'll see then for sure. But right now, would you rather me not talk about it? He said he's tried the camera himself and the autofocus was perfect, better than Sony and Canon. And I was like, where's your footage then? He had no videos. I was like, oh, I'll just trust you random ass guy. When someone tells you the Canon M50 is the best vlogging camera, you have to like look a little deeper. Is it? It has no stabilization. The lens is it's dead. It's a dead mount. How is it the best? The autofocus wasn't even that reliable. It scared me. It scared me. And as a Panasonic user, it made me nervous. I don't see it. Like, just... Your mind knows the truth. You know. You're drawn. You can feel it in your heart. Am I being lied to right now? Yes. Oh, thumb down and run. Now I know it may sound a little harsh today, but I like Taylor Jackson's reviews. I've watched a bunch of his Nikon stuff. He makes good videos. It's not like I'm attacking him. I'm just, I get a lot of comments linking to his video proving that Fuji's better than Canon and Sony now. Look, the Atomos recording showed me and I'm just trying to tell you, like, that doesn't mean a damn thing. And the other guy, see, like, I enjoyed his review too. I just noticed, okay, I know what I'm looking for in Ibis when you're panning around and you're seeing a lot of jerks. It's not good Ibis. It, that had dual stabe in it too, with the 12 to 190. That lens, the freak lens. Don't quote me on that length. Don't you quote me on it. And I'm not saying the X-H2S will be a bad camera. I'm still debating pre-ordering it. It's better than my X-T4 for sure. I think the animal I detect might work sometimes. I doubt it'll be super reliable, but neither is cannons. When a bird hides behind a leaf, well, think bad things happen. So you can't always trust autofocus. 
I don't know that they fixed the Ibis, but I'm still intrigued. With the 100 to 400, like why not upgrade, sell the Fuji X-T4? I'm with you. I am on that train. I'm just waiting a little bit. See what else is coming. I want to see that X-H2. Will that be an even better video camera? It might be. Fuji didn't come out and say, this is our video centric one. They just said it was the speedy one. And I'm not seeing any speed results so far. No faster frame rates, just 4K 120p with a huge crop. That barely beats the X-T3. Stacked, stacked my ass. So don't be a gullible consumer. There's a lot of people, they have a lot of biases or they don't even know what they're looking for when testing something or their standards are super low with the ibis and the walking and the shaking. It's like, oh, it's good enough. It's not to me. I'll leave links down below to the channels I yelled at furiously today and go subscribe to them to make up for the feelings being hurt due to my rudeness and all is forgiven by them to me. And thank you for forgiving me and buying something through my affiliate links, even though it might not be good because I haven't tested it yet. Thanks for buying a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt while you're down there. I'm sure the designs fade. I don't know why. I don't know why. Just wash them inside out, you piece of shit.